Discussion on Leo phase of coronary angiogram. Assessing coronary venous anatomy is important prior to cardiac resynchronization therapy. Leo phase of the coronary angiogram showing tributaries of coronary sinus. Leo phase of the angiogram is obtained when you continue the recording till the contrast passes from the arterial tree through the capillaries to the venous system. Alternatively, you may start recording a little late after the coronary injection to the approximate time for the levo phase. But in this situation, there is a chance of missing the initial part of the levo phase. Levo phase angiogram gives an outline of the coronary sinus and its major tributaries. But it will not be enough for an excellent visualization of the venous anatomy for left ventricular lead placement for cardiac resynchronization therapy or CRT. While planning to locate a good vein for CRT, Coronary sinus angiography is directly performed by retrograde cannulation of the coronary sinus ostium from the right atrium. Care is needed to avoid dissection of the coronary sinus or its tributaries which are thin wall structures compared to the coronary arteries. Since the flow in the venous system is against the direction of contrast injection, proximal balloon occlusion is needed for good visualization of the tributaries of the coronary sinus. The tributaries seen here are the middle cardiac vein and the lateral marginal vein. Catheter tip of left Judkins catheter introduced via the transfemoral root is engaging the ostium of the left main coronary artery. Coronary angiogram Leo phase in another case showing the catheter engaged in the left main coronary artery. Artery is not visible as it is the Leo phase. After filling the coronary arteries, the contrast drains into the coronary venous system finally opacifying the coronary sinus which drains into the right atrium. The vein seen in the middle of the image is the middle cardiac vein and that in the left cardiac border the posterolateral vein. A small inconspicuous vein seen behind the coronary sinus label is the small cardiac vein. Distal region of the coronary sinus is joined by the great cardiac vein. Another distal vein is the oblique vein of Marshall or oblique vein of left atrium. Hyperemic venous return angiography has been used to study the coronary venous anatomy. Here the levophase recordings are taken after inducing hyperemia with intracoronary nitroglycerin or adenosine. In a study of 200 patients, sufficient anatomic information needed for cardiac resynchronization therapy was obtained in 99.5% patients. There was no significant difference between hyperemic venous return angiography and occlusive retrograde venography in utility. Visibility scores were slightly higher for coronary sinus and lateral vein of the left ventricle with occlusive retrograde venography. But middle cardiac vein and anterior interventricular vein could be visualized better using venous return angiography. There were no complications with venous return angiography. Dissection of great cardiac vein occurred in three patients with occlusive venous angiography, but this did not prevent electrode implantation. Here is a journal reference on hyperemic venous return angiography. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share, and post your valuable comment below this video.